morning guys this is Dan with the Rapway Homestead and uh, we got ourselves a situation this morning so last night we noticed one of our outside cats was was limping pretty good on his back paw and we uh, were able to catch him last night um, our outside cats as you can see aren't like normal farm cats they're more like inside pets that live outside they're very tame very friendly um, but we were able to catch him last night and found that he is was bleeding pretty bad out one of his his back paws. Um, it wasn't bleeding anymore, but you could see where it was kind of clotted and it was kind of gooey looking and dirty. Uh, we tried to rinse it out last night and see where the wound was. You couldn't even tell where it was bleeding or what was going on. Um, and we ended up putting him. We have, I have a cat house built for him that's outside. That's um, we put them in there and while well, this morning we thought we should maybe take him to the vet because he's not putting any pressure on it now and it looks pretty swollen and now I, I can't catch him if it was Lola here that would not be a problem Lola just wants to hang out but Banks our bigger male cat I can't seem to catch him I'll turn you around and show you I'm as close as I have been so far but he's still not interested in being caught So there he is. It's hard to tell on camera. He's only, you know, five feet away. As you can tell, he is very calm. But he just doesn't want nothing to do with me messing with him. He doesn't want to be caught. I'd like to catch him, so when I call the vet at 8 o'clock, if they tell me to bring him in, I can I can bring him in. At least my concern is, is I think he'd probably heal on its own. My concern is, is if, he, uh, if he's got something in it, a piece of glass or metal or a thistle or I don't know, something in his paw that's not going to heal on its own i don't want to have a bigger problem later and although they are outside cats we take as good a care of our all of our animals as we absolutely can so if i can get him i'd like to catch him so i can maybe take him in and i have to wait till eight o'clock to call the vet it's only 7 a.m right now so i gotta wait another hour but i'd like to get him so i'm not going to be able to really film and try to catch him but i'll get back with you guys if i'm able to get him or what well, I did not catch him. I got that close to him and I, I slowly, slowly tried to go in and grab him and he, he took off on me. And I kind of caught back up with him and he kept running. He was heading for the, out of our property and heading toward the tar road. So I, uh, I backed off. I don't want, I mean, it doesn't pay to chase him. He can move really fast yet. He, he only runs on three legs, but he's way, way faster than I am. So I don't know, from here I just gotta wait Wait till I see him, I guess. I don't know what to what to really do. Um, and not much I can do if I can't get my hands on him. So I don't know <laughs> when we'll end this video, but hopefully with him doing better, but we'll see what happens. Well, guys, the Binks saga continues. We're grilling. It's, I don't know, about 5 o'clock at night, and he finally came back after this morning me trying to catch him. And he's in his little cat house here. I'll show him to you, but I'm not going to grab him tonight. I'm not going to take him to the ER vet or anything. So, um, But I'll show him to you. We'll pet him. He won't let me get close to him, but he's went in to eat, so we'll see. So this is his, their cat house. It's pretty fancy. But let's open this up here and see what he's up to. Oh, yeah, see, he don't want me messing with him, but you can see him limping on that foot. It's okay, baby. We'll just let him sit right there. I'm not going to mess with him. He was not a fan of me opening that door, that's for sure. I feel bad for him, but I can't catch him. I mean, I could have caught him right there. I don't want to catch him tonight. I don't want to... He'll stress if we bring him in the house and put him in a kennel all night. He's never done that, so... Just kind of is what it is for tonight, I guess. We'll uh, get back with you guys when we make a decision on what we're going to do with him. All right, guys. Well, it's a few days since I was trying to get him. And, well, of course, now he's going to take off on me. All right, guys. So here he is. A couple days later, he came back. And he's walking really well now. As you can see, he is super friendly. 
just wasn't into being messed with, but I don't know if I can get you to see that back power if he'll let me. No, nope. no, nope. he don't want nothing to do with that, but he's all good now. It's His back paw's a little tore up. I'm not sure what he got into, but well, you can see there he's walking just fine on it now, so not sure if you guys can see that. No, nope. no. He's doing great now, so I think he's I think he's good. Glad I didn't catch him and bring him to the vet. That would have been a big vet bill we avoided. Because, yeah, like I said, he's doing great now, so. Well, guys, as they say, it's always something. Well, this time I guess we lucked out. It ended up not being a super big deal. Apparently, I still don't know what's wrong with it, but it's kind of on the side, it looks like, is where the injury is. I don't know if he got a caught in something or what, but he's... He's doing a lot better now. I think he's good, and uh, yeah, <laughs> avoided that one, I guess. But uh, yeah, well, I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you wouldn't mind uh, dropping a comment, a like, and please subscribe if you like this kind of video. Hopefully this kind of video doesn't happen all the time where an animal's getting hurt, but this farm life kind of content. And uh, yeah, until next time, have a good one.